Hey there, Jed Coverness here from jedcoverness.com. Coming to you from Roseau, Minnesota, this is Talk Therapy, a tool that I use to get past my analytical mind to think out loud and put it all out there. Here we go. Today's weather, uh, 10 degrees above zero, pretty cold, but not crazy cold yet. But one of these days it will warm up. That's your weather, here we go. Um, yeah, so let's talk about something that most are gonna get pissed off at especially women but here's the deal you're gonna get pissed and uh, and I just need to talk this out and if people are gonna get mad at me for talking it out they get mad at me this is for me so I'm talking this talk therapy is what I do um, yeah so why do people men women whatever uh, lose weight and then feel that they need to post they're close to naked body online, on social media, on the internet. And then just start really posting and posting and posting and posting, right? Like, do you think something's different? Do you think you have changed? Let me tell you, you're the same dumbass as you were before, okay? Like, we're all dumbasses. We're all idiots. We're all smart. We're all dumb. We're all whatever it is. Nothing has changed, right? And especially the drastic changes. The non-sustainable amount of change. And then you start posting, like you lose a ton of weight and then you start posting pictures on the internet. Here's the thing, like, you're that's not sustainable. Why do you feel the need to post that shit? I post pictures of myself. I'm in the health and fitness industry, okay? I post pictures of myself and the work that I do, because that's kind of part of the process, right? That's kind of part of the game. If you don't look the part, nobody's gonna fucking hire you. It's as shallow as that sounds, it's just true. Like if you hire a fat trainer, <laughs> how the fuck are you supposed to take them serious? Like don't eat cheeseburgers and stop eating the, the ice cream. But hey, after we get done training, should we go to Dairy Queen and grab some supper? Sure can if you want to, my treat. You're not gonna fucking listen to that person. But if you're not in the health and fitness industry and you're at the age of probably 35 to 45 right now, <laughs> so many people are getting just fucking off the rails crazy. Like you lose a bunch of weight, you have some work done. And then you post a fuckload of pictures of yourself three quarters of the way naked. Then what? I, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't get it. Uh, maybe it's attention. Maybe you're just tired of your body. Maybe you're tired of your significant other. But you need to figure that shit out. I, I don't know why. I don't. I don't. And, and I guess maybe I won't ever know. And I don't care necessarily. It just is like, maybe it's a judgment. I don't want to be judgy here. I don't want to judge people for what they're doing. But if they've never posted a bunch of pictures before, it was like just of their face or like just of, you know, their family. And then all of a sudden they start to lose weight fast. They start to then um, get naked or close to it and start posting pictures like that what's that about i mean enlighten me cobra nation please like if you have opinions on this hook a brother up here but my opinion is you don't need to do it some things need to stay private right some things need to stay private because here's the side effect of all of that you lose the weight you do whatever work that you have done to lost the weight to lose the weight now you have some skin right whatever and now you have the skin removed which everybody does maybe not everybody but most people have it removed and then you get really then you change right like you're not if you think you're you're all of a sudden you know hot or whatever it is it's not, right? Like, it's not. Because, like, what does that say to your children? What does that say to your significant other? Be a leader. Like, 
the side effect of all of that is then people think that that's just the normal way to live because you're going to get attention from people that you can't handle. You can't handle that amount of attention. You, you're not, you didn't do the work mentally to get this physical body that you've always wanted. And then what's going to happen is this right here. This is what's going to happen. You're going to get attention from somebody and you can't handle it or many people and you're going to resent the person you're with because they don't give you that kind of attention because they don't see you in this shallow way. They see you in such a, a deep way that these shallow people only feed your ego and you didn't do the mental work to, to change your ego, to change your inner self and you start feeding the ego some shitty shallow stuff and you cheat and you manipulate and you steal and you may not do any of those in that actual physical way but like you're going to resent your significant other and then eventually you're going to leave them and you're going to be way more miserable than you ever will be than you ever were before when you had extra fat on your body you're miserable with the way you look you're miserable with with the way you feel, both inside and outside. Now, you've created a fuck storm of problems because you didn't balance that type of shit out. Let me tell you, this is fucking real. This is real. It happens all the time. And it's happening way more often because people are posting it on this bullshit right here. You're watching this. I'm talking to me right now, and I'm seeing it. I've seen it. It's happening happened and it will happen to you if you go down that road you have to do the work mentally and physically you can I don't know why people don't think of that I'm gonna lose all this weight I'm gonna have some work done and then I'm gonna feel good about myself and then I'm gonna post naked pictures or close naked pictures online and I'm gonna feel good about it and everybody's gonna say how good I look here's a news flash for you nobody gives a fuck about what you're doing and when the work the, the words are on all the comments and shit that say you look gorgeous, you look great, you look great. All those motherfuckers, I can promise you, are talking shit about you behind their back. I promise you that's what's happening. I promise. Like, I, I know for sure. Because that's what people do. When you change that fast, that amount of shit, you can't. It's not sustainable. It's not going to help you. It's just not. Consistency is greater than intensity. It just is. You have to do the work. You cannot change one thing without the other and expect it to be a balanced amount of sustainability. I know that's a lot of words, but it's just how it works. Like, it's not going to work for you. It doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for anybody. We're human. Please enlighten me, anybody. What do you got? Why do that? I post pictures every now and again, of my progress pictures, and say, hey, this is what I look like right now. Have I looked better at my in my life before? Sure. Have I looked worse? Sure. Like, it doesn't matter. It's just where I'm at right now. That's what a picture is. But I can understand and I can handle all of the attention that comes with looking a certain way. You don't even know and understand how many DMs I get every single day for the way I look, good, bad, or otherwise. I'm married, I have children, and I love my wife. That's how it works. Is it perfect? None of us are perfect. That's not how it works. If it were perfect, it'd be fucking boring. So, I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it, and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it now. I'm okay with it, because I said my truth. We talked about it. Yes. So, Cobra Nation, if this helped you in any way, uh, share it out. Pay it forward, please. I'm trying to really grow this thing this part of my life that can help people that's why i think it would do it so yeah and as always if you're willing to change from the neck up then you will change from the neck down i believe in you now it's your turn to start believing in yourself stay safe out there be blessed bye for now